Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we took the title again for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2011 Daihatsu Kokoa that just came in. It's got 71,000 kilometers on it, which is only 44,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Daihatsu Cocoa is a four-passenger vehicle in the yellow plate. <coughs> excuse me, in the yellow plate category. Road tax, per, which is the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be thirty dollars. I'm sorry, three thousand yen, which is about twenty-four dollars with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame, so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before I go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, to give you that cross ventilation get that extremely hot air out as i'm feeling right now also you want to get yourself a good windshield visor you got to keep that dash as cool as possible so in addition to that you may want to uh, consider buying a dash cover or if you want to keep it simple get yourself a larger bath towel or beach towel and drape it across there okay other than that let's jump on inside let's get this baby started like i said it's just coming in but it's actually really clean so somebody took care of this key fob on your person you're just going to crank it over as if the key was in there now, if this uh, key fob battery dies, you are able to slide this over, and this comes out like a regular key to put in there. Let's turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Let's uh, put that over here. Let's sneak this in here. 71,042 on the odometer. Uh, show you a couple of warning lights. That green one, the green one right there, that is your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be green when the engine's cool, and it's gonna remain on, that's normal. It's gonna go away when the engine warms up, that's normal. And then it's going to be red. You can see the silhouette to the right with the H. That's going to be red if it's overheating. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. The one blinking, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then the one above that, the circular one, is your emergency brake. This one's a kick type. So when you kick it, disengages, it goes away. Kick it again, engages, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And I think you see some silhouettes of the other warning lights. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over immediately, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Off the left here, you have your radio, uh, shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet, little space down here for storage, and cup holders. Above the glove box, you have a little compartment for storage, and then the glove box itself, and a little bit of storage on each door panel. And this AC is feeling really good. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I, oh no, it wasn't all the way down. Now it is. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm pretty good right where I am, or I can slide this up, believe it or not, a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. And then it does have a, a, a center armrest. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see any past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now normally this is, this is the time that I show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other de uh, dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So this is obviously just a, um, a phone, a phone uh, stand, I guess, a holder, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, we'll probably just leave that on because uh, everybody has phones. Open this up. Oh, and this one is one of the rare ones. Uh, not all the yellow plates have the adjustable uh, steering wheel, but this one does. And then you do have a cup holder on each side of the dash. Okay. You put a couple coins here. And this one is to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. And then a uh, compartment here for coins or whatnot. And then you do have your hood release. Okay. But down here you do have your gas cover release. Please don't forget that that's there. Okay. And then on the door panel you have your uh, mirror window and door lock controls all right here. I think I forgot to do that on my last video. All right, so let's uh, turn this off. I don't think I forget anything. Let's go to the back seat. Yeah, that AC was cranking pretty nicely. Now you see how these doors open up to 90 degree? Very easy to get in and out of these. And of course you have the Mickey bling in here. But just a really clean car. This is not gonna last long. All right. So the seat all the way back, all the way down, about two inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you, you have this pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. With this one, it is a zipper. You get to put stuff in, close it, and then it's kind of like a grab and go. I don't quite understand it because obviously if it's uh, longer than this, you're not going to be able to grab and go it, okay? Um, grab it and go, I should say. Then it has a grocery bag hook for uh, three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. And then you do have a cup holder on each door panel. No center armrest or anything else like that um, because it is a four passenger. Let's go to the back here. So here's your rear space. You do have this privacy uh, cover, okay, that just clips in there. And then it just uh, clips this off. So when you detach it, it just goes on the headrest. So if you want to put this down, you're going to lift up on this tab and put it down. Same with the other one. I'll just leave that there, oops, just leave that there. And then it does lay almost flat, but you will have a small hump if they're both down, okay? Let's head to the front. Show you the engine compartment, they're gonna wrap this video up. And there you have it, 660cc engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you go, 2011 Daihatsu Kokoa. 71,000 kilometers on it, which again about 44,000 miles. Military price goes down to 5,400. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,200. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on it. For now, the 5,200 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. And we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have what our program's all about and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best place to buy a car in Okinawa Ward for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.